Hi and welcome to my video Wing Commander Privateer Remake How to get a Drayman And it's very simple You can get a Drayman It will become available to, uh, to buy in the Oxford Once you have completed the last Oxford mission On the storyline missions So if I go over here into the ship dealer and I click on ships you will not have it available until completing the last mission so we'll do that just now I don't have time to swap pleasantries here's your payment of 10,000 credits for the last mission we have an incoming freighter laden with materials about to be attacked by several fighters valuables as well as vital supplies are aboard You'll probably find it somewhere near Nav 1 Oxford system. Rendezvous with the freighter and bring it back safely. And return here for library access, along with a final payment of 10,000 credits. How long before they strike? They could arrive at any moment. Please, will you help? So in this case, it's another escort mission, and we'll just accept it. Okay, I'll save your freighter, but I'd better get full access to the library. Hell, you better name an entire wing after me. Stop stalling and save that freighter, damn it! Touchy, touchy. So now that we can do the last mission on Oxford, when you're doing the storyline missions, we'll do this as normal. So I'm just going to do that just now, because I think if you load the saved game, uh, yeah, if you load a saved game after doing the mission, I wasn't able to find the Drayman. So I'm just going to do the last mission just now. So you press O and you'll realize we've got objective. You must visit the jump in the XXN 1927 system. So I think I'll go there now and it should begin. So that, once you've completed that, all the enemies should be dead now. And the Drayman that we were protecting should have warped off down to Oxford. So we'll go back to Oxford. And there it is. And just wait until the, your transport that you're protecting is goes into uh, the planet. So as long as they get there safely, I think there's an enemy out here as well. Oh, 
although mission is complete anyway, so we will just go back to Oxford. Another day, another kill. Now so now that the mission's complete, you can talk to the guy. The freighter is safe, thanks to you. Skip the hearts and flowers. My library access? Everything has been arranged, and here's your final payment of 10,000 credits. Good luck with that personal business. I hope you find what you're looking for. So now that, that the last mission is complete, you should be able to go into the shipyard, into the ships, and you'll get some new options. You have deprecated galaxy and you've got the Draymond there for our 1,500,000 credits. It's also in light capital ships for our 1,000, sorry, 1,200,000. I'm just gonna get this one. I'm not sure, maybe you can leave comments. What's the difference in deprecated? D, uh, sorry, deprecated and light cap ship. So this one's more expensive, so I'll just get this one. And to do that, you just buy it. And now you've, congratulations, you have a Draymond. So I'm just gonna stock it up with some stuff. It uh, doesn't say you can have certain things. Now here's the cargo volumes. You should be able to get more cargo later on, more cargo add-ons later on to, if you just like exit the base and dock again, you should refresh that and you'll get larger uh, cargo space. I think the cargo space is, is quite, is definitely is really large on, on these things. And I don't think I have a decent radar just now, so I'm just going to do that. And just, just buy a few more items. Now, what, I, what you want to do is, I'm going to demonstrate what you can do with a Draymond. If you buy a tractor beam, and we'll fit one. Let's see if I can replace that. So I've replaced one of the weapons with a tractor beam. Doesn't have any turret hard points. Okay, just just a basic setup. Now the Draymond is very slow, so your manu maneuver uh, maneuverability is really bad. But with the Draymond, since you can own multiple ships in this game, in the remake. You can own more than one ship. I'll just show you that before launching. If you go to your shipyard ships, you've got something called My Fleet, and you've got your Centurion, you've still got it, and it costs zero because you still have this in your hangar. And once you buy that, it just swaps over to the Centurion. Once you get the Centurion again, you'll notice my fleet will have all the ships that you have. So you'll see your Draymond there as well. And that's how you own multiple ships. Now, to get almost any ship in the game, I'm not sure if you can get every single ship in the game. But if you want a certain ship, then this is how you do it. You basically use your tractor beam just gonna launch target an enemy or any ship ah, a stiletto now stilettos are quite fast so if we could get one of those that would be useful start your tractor beam up as I say the turning speed on this is going to be very slow try and get it come on see if I can get it I don't know what the range is on this tractor beam. See what. And now 
look at your cargo. Stiletto times one. Let's dock. Now enter. So basically, I've tractor beam, tractor beamed in a stiletto. It will be. It won't show. Just so you know, it won't show up in ships. So you've still got the Draymond and the Galaxy. Now, just just a word of warning. Once you carry on with the storyline, you will probably won't be able to get a Draymond again for the rest of the game. So it's very important that you buy one on the last Oxford mission. So in your cargo hold, if we go into, I'll do that again, if we go into here, you'll notice this is all your cargo stuff here. I'm just going to get rid of this junk. And then you've got your Starship Stiletto. Now you can make money from this as well. You can just tractor beam in ships and sell them. Now, if you want to fly one of those ships, if you want to own them, now that we've got a Stiletto, what you do is you just sell it. So that's sold and then done and then exit this. So we're just going to exit, go back into the ship dealer and go into ships. Now you'll notice that the stiletto is available. I don't know if that's the realistic price, but just to confirm, you've only you're only on a centurion just now. So then you have to buy it back and then you own a stiletto. How is that? That is nice. So let's go into ships again in my fleet. You've still got your Draymond and you've still got your Centurion which you can swap over. If you want to swap over back to the, a Centurion for example just buy it and you're back in your Centurion and you've still got all your fittings And if you want to go back to your stiletto, just do this. Now here's the stiletto. And let's try and socket some of the stuff, fit some of the stuff. It's better if I, f it's probably better if I fitted it in Parry Naval Base since they have more stuff, but I'm just gonna get rid of those weapons. Again, I'm, I've only got a basic radar. I don't know if I could could have chose this. That would have been better. Doesn't seem like it. I'm just going to choose that. Not very many choices in the Oxford, but I just do some basic fittings. I thought I would have had an afterburner somewhere. If I don't have an afterburner, I might have to um, go to a different station. Now it looks like like this. Uh, has some slots for missiles. Now I thought we'd have been able to get 10 in there, but... No. 
what I'll try and do is I'll try and launch my stiletto. Wow, looks like I have an afterburner after all. So here it is. This is a stiletto. The advantage is mine. Now you die. And basically that's how you own certain ships in the game. And you can fly whatever you want, basically. And that's it. Hope you hope you enjoyed this video. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.